I like it. Because it matches the colour of the van. <laughs> we'll get to the specifics of <laughs> what yeah. it does, how it does and how amazing it is, but just real basics. Just go back to the raw basics. It looks good and you put your feet on it. Yeah. So well, back to the channel guys and welcome to the Peak District where I'm parked up right now and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about a fantastic new product that we're going to be reviewing and comparing a little bit. So uh, without further ado, we'd like to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this week's video. Uh, let's get on with this. Oh, by the way, this ain't boring. This is reassuring. I promise. Hello Blue mate, have you looking after the place? Good boy, good boy. The EcoFlow Delta 2. Now if I'm honest with you, it's a little bit of a out with the old and in with the new. Not that there's anything wrong of course with the old boy. I think it's just that there's more importantly, a hell of a lot more good stuff going on with this one. She's a beauty. Whereas by contrast, this old jalopy just looks a little bit dated now, doesn't it? Now I think you now where we're talking battery power banks or boxing pound for pound, that's a fair fight between that and that. They're expected to do pretty much the same thing. So we're going to pitch them together because it is, like I say, it's a fair fight. I have a sneaky suspicion that this one's going to come out on top though. And here's for more reasons why. So the EcoFlow Delta 2 straight out of the box is ready to use. It came actually with, I think it's about 30, 28% or something. So it had some power already in it from factory. I wanted it to start at 100%. So I took it around to Lindsay's uh, mum's house so I could just plug it into a proper household wall socket to see how fast it uh, powers up. And my God, it sucks in at I think it was 1200 watts of power was going in so it's no wonder it's so fast admittedly there is a little bit of fan noise that uh, comes on with that much power going in it's got to keep itself cool actually what i'll do i'll show you if i plug it into the van obviously we wouldn't be uh, charging this from the uh, the van's inverter under normal circumstances but just to prove a point let's just turn the inverter on let's plug this into the van Now normally you'd be using a wall socket if you get a moment around someone's house or if you can discreetly smuggle this into a, um, a coffee shop. <laughs> I don't know how discreet it'll be but if you did then that's going to start charging. Let's see what it's going to get. Oh it's going for it. It is going for it as well. That nearly went up to 1200. It's just settling itself back down again now. So I think it's going to realize here, here, here the fans are going down. But this charges from 0 to 80%. This is bonkers in 50 minutes. I think to be perfectly honest with you, I think I got slightly faster than that. But anyway, they quote 50 and it certainly did that and then some. And then from 0 to 100%, 80 minutes. The difference at 145, 146 watts going in. That's going to take forever. Oh, the other thing, the, the power cord. This is an improvement as well. Check this out. Standard, pretty much as we know it, one of those kettle leads that, uh, that plugs this in. And you'll notice there's not one of those horrible house brick size power adapters. Yeah, I'll show you. Now this is a former one that we've been using with the Jackery. Look at the difference. And if you're going to be carrying stuff around, that is a Jackery lead against that from EcoFlow. Now I know which one I prefer because that in itself, there's weight and there's size there that is just ridiculous. Anyway, we'll be rid of that and we'll be using this. Rare that we will, because to be honest with you, we'll charge this as we're rolling on the road because via the van's cigarette lighter, we can charge this it also has a pass-through um, power so we can be charging whilst it's charging off of the van i can be plugging in all my bits and pieces i can't think even if i'm plugging everything in i'm not falling short of power at all not just the usb ports at the front now we'll 
go into more detail on that in a second. But for now, let me show you around the back. So from around this side, let's move some security out of the way. Don't need to see that. Now around the back. Now this is where the cigarette lighter from the van powers up this machine. But as you can see, I've got four, only three in use at the moment, but potentially four standard socket power outlets that are there to be used. So for charging, honestly, this machine is a beast. And when you've got so many bits and pieces, a drone controller, the Sony, the drone batteries, it's very easy to be using up all of these ports. But even with that, that said, I've still got a spare. One, two. So out of the box, as well as, of course, the user manual, which, well, <laughs> who reads those things? It's pretty simple to, uh, to run itself. Between this power station and the app, genuinely, I can't think that I'll be looking at that at all. The app, super simple to use. Within the app, you can change all your settings. I've now personalized this one to set our needs, our requirements. There's loads of different settings that you can change. But right now, within minutes, I've got this set up to our van, to our needs, to our taste. And it's working smart. It's now connected to the Wi-Fi of the van. It also has Bluetooth connectivity as well, so it can run to the, the phone if the Wi-Fi isn't enabled. But yeah, between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, I can now, if I'm away from the van, I can also make sure that if anything is plugged in that I want in my absence to go on and off and change, and I can change all my settings on my phone, and this will do its thing for me. A quick firmware update, which is amazing, because now this can grow with us. So if there are updates that come out, this can take that. And I'm looking forward to the fact that, yeah, this can now continue to upgrade as updates come out from EcoFlow. Here's another dramatic improvement that we've found. If you use a MacBook, or most computers, these are a pain in the butt. They're big, they're bulky, they just get in the way. I don't like carrying them around. This, of course, has USB-C with a 100 watt output. You can lose the plug, just go in from the USB-C socket, charge your Mac with a regular lead. No bulky bits. The screen is bright, it's clear, tells you all you need to know. I've got my inverter on at the moment, I've got a USB, I've got a USB-C, it's hooked up to the Wi-Fi. I've got an output, 53 watts, and 12 hours of power at this rate, 95% battery power left. Couldn't get much more clearer than that. But as old school as this jacker is, there is one feature it's got that we did use a lot, and I kind of miss now, the torch. Not too big of an issue, but would it be nice if Figo Flow had slammed one in there one as well, but it is what it is. This is game changer. I've never been able to blow dry my hair in the van and coming into the winter months when it's cold, <laughs> that is a must. So check this out. Darling. Now it's a little bit of a shame that we're doing this review in November because outside is overcast because what we've also been sent is the EcoFlow solar panel. 160 watts, we do bigger ones as well. What I loved about this is it comes in its own little neat carry case as well because obviously when you're storing stuff away in the garage under the bed stuff gets uh, pushed around squeezed into sort of positions just like tetris and that in its little protective bag is easy to push in and out without damaging the panels but of course what i've not managed to test yet is how long it takes with just pure solar power to ramp this up from naught to full but needless to say solar panels a great asset to any van combination for power you know i love my ghds it can handle the GHDs, it no worries. It can handle the GHDs, no worries. Look at that. Ta -da. Ta -da. 
So if this wasn't impressive enough with its 1024 watt hour capacity in there somewhere, you can expand by adding the Delta II battery pack, double it up to 2048, or go up to a whopping 3040 with the Delta Max extra battery. You can now add in parallel other EcoFlow batteries. So if you really wanted to run your entire van system, it is actually possible to add additional power to this one being the main bank. I mean, it's insane. So for getting just the van use, that could potentially run a small house. All that power, guess what it weighs? Go on, have a guess. I'll put you out of your misery, 27 pounds. Ain't much at all, really. Now around the back, you've got your four regular plug sockets. Switch the inverter on to, uh, to get this interface working. Uh, you've got your 12 volt cigarette lighter style, and then your little three amp ports there for the little stuff. Now these will power appliances up to 1800 watts. I mean, that's, that's the hell of a lot of options there. But then in addition to that, EcoFlow have a little number up their sleeve called X-Boost, which juggles the figures a bit and then sends out up to 2200 watts. 2200 watts, X-Boost technology. Just sounds great, doesn't it? That you can fiddle with again on your app on the phone to turn that on and off. It's just highly personalizable. Now, if you're the type of person to get quite analytical about this and you want to start weighing up the costs and value for money, bear in mind, this has a cycle life, 3,000 cycles. 3,000 from naught to full. And that's basically, that's gonna take you what, a good 10 years to, uh, to fulfill if you're using it daily. But bear in mind the fact that chances are you ain't gonna run it flat and then full again daily. You can be doing a lot more in between. That's potentially a hell of a lot more life than 10 years. And in addition to that, they're gonna give you a five year warranty. So with a seven times faster charging than most of the competitors and a six times further lifespan than most of its competitors. And the battery technology in that is the same as Tesla. So there we have it, the EcoFlow Delta II. So it's not just a battery, but more of an essential home or van appliance. So it's whether that's for daily usage, outdoor usage, indoor usage, travel in general, it's a handy, eco-friendly power station for your family, anytime, anywhere. So head down to the link in our description for EcoFlow's green energy solutions. Good news is... Yeah, normal service resumes, what, next week? Yeah. Been a bit of a busy one. We've been absent because we've been busy. Well, you've had a new business venture. Yeah, I've been working on my website with Jess and we have a new venue for our breath work. So we've been doing some more yeah, breath work events. Yeah, looking good. And we've been learning to snowboard yes. as well. So hopefully there'll be future winter episodes yeah snowboarding snowboarding's wicked <laughs> fingers crossed. i could snowboard anyway but you couldn't but oh, shut up we picked it up very quickly <laughs> honestly <right. laughs> so we'll see you next time see you next time thanks for watching thanks for watching so please like subscribe ring the bell for notifications have a little look at instagram yeah instagram our van tales is there anything else no and do what makes your heart happy <laughs> oh yeah one of them yeah <laughs> bye <laughs> I could snowboard anyway, but you couldn't.